Hello, I am Tolheim, and welcome back to Endless Legend. As the Volters, on a serious difficulty, coming to the end, hopefully, to win a science victory. I wonder if there's any other difficulties, I mean, victories I could pivot to at this stage. Let's have a look. I'm actually doing pretty good on Diplomatic, but seeing as some of my enemies... Actually... Maybe I could. I mean, no one else seems to be doing, getting too close to anything else. Let's burst off both these science stockpiles. And I want to buy something. Let's buy that. But yeah, perhaps I could just, like, blitz my way towards so another victory if I wanted to. I'm in a pretty commanding position. At least I am science-wise. Not really militarily. Green is pretty strong, and I imagine these guys are probably closer to an economic victory than I'd like to think. Okay, so... This doesn't get anything else. Let's get other university. Hey -o. Let's have peace. I almost want peace. I'll give them peace with a tiny, tiny tier 1 glass, glass steel. There we go. So, these guys. They found me from here. And let's have a look at where these guys are doing economically, victory wise. Just quickly just boost, boost up my smaller city. 34% economic. So, yeah, they're kind of uh, doing pretty well economically. But I still think I can reach a science victory before they reach an economic victory. Interestingly, this guy now only has one region. So is that his capital or somehow a second region he got hold of? Still not entirely sure what happened there. Oh, sweet. A grand legendary deed. Minus 50% expansion disapproval on cities. I don't think I actually really need it, because I am kind of ruling the world at this stage, science-wise. And this guy's back. Okay, let's go to my city. Now, on to the next turn. You look how far the ice goes. That's incredible. I can just walk up to my bastion. What if you can actually attack it with land units and occupy it that way? Now that it's in the ice, just like run up. Maybe. Probably claim this one and this one. I like the ice. It's a cool it's a cool addition to the game. Oh there's Eska, the city I needed to destroy. It's pretty far away. I think I can probably win the game without doing it. And there goes the cultists. So now it's just this one guy on his own. On that entire continent. Being crazy trade man. Okay, so let's see what I can get. Industry stockpile. Why is it getting industry stockpiles? Let's get rural, rural universities. So let's activate this rural university and then use this stockpile to try and get that rural university. And... I might as well use the pixie blood. Doesn't seem to be worth that much. Huntsman extra XP on heroes could be useful to try and get the the haunt guy leveled up quicker. But considering it is now just one more technology I need to win the game. Let's get the winter immunity and get you the extra science for trade route.
and on to the next turn. Actually, where are my pearl hunter? Where is my pearl hunter? I say where are my pearl hunters, but I've only got one. Now, out of these two final technologies, I think I'm going to go military. Rather than United Empire's Council. So I'm going to win the game in seven turns. Broken Lords have completed step one of the victory quest. Get more. Get, get Boris Street. Everyone just build a... Wait, why, why are they getting industrial zones? That's pointless. Get rolling universities. Get Boris Street. Royal University. Okay, there we go. Gonna win the game anyway. So yeah, I'm kind of happy I end up such good allies with these guys, especially after what happened right at the beginning. Where I kind of uh, killed their first two units and their hero. Wasn't the nicest thing I've ever done. Let's get the anomaly. Abbey of Anomalies. Maybe the Chapel of Ariga is better. Get the Chapel of Ariga. Okay, and four turns. I'm actually quite happy I got like all the wonders. I'm not sure the the other wonders have not even been built yet. So of the three wonders in the world which were built, I've claimed them all. This guy, that is an incredible, incredible um, legendary, legendary deed to win and end up being wiped out. But overall, I'm kind of really happy with the changes that Tempest has made. Like, I think the sea regions and these bastions is such a cool idea. And adds so much to the game. It's like another entire level. It's like doubled the size of it in a way. It has something to do with all these sea regions. Okay, so they're Cold War. They're Cold War. I'm two turns away from winning. And they're suddenly like, wait a second. I'm not sure I like this very much. And let's get this guy to be level two of that. Okay, so. Let's see what I can do to make sure I get peace with these guys. Give them a couple of technologies. Guy's really unhappy. Just throw text at him. Two degrees. Peace is, peace, peace is a good thing. There we go. And on to the next turn. Five heroes of level eight, roving clans. Let's see how close they are to their victory. Forty-one percent. 
Increasing. I'm 62 of diplomatic, and I'm going to reach a scientific next turn. Just blast the stockpile. And activate the Hydra meal, because why not? Search complete, and I have achieved a scientific victory, and also my ally got a shared victory. Achieved victory shared. That must be the the new addition, because now you can win shared victories. Let's have a look at the score screen. Yeah, I was nowhere even near the top of the score. That was definitely the roving clans. So I wonder who... I think the Riven Clans must have wiped out both the Forgotten and the Cultists on their island. My food production was huge. Industry Riven Clans were beating me by quite a bit. Dust Riven Clans and the Broken Lords were beating me. Again, I was miles ahead in science. My influence was terrible. My, dipl my diplomacy was good. Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and have a great day.